European Union Commission Chief Ursula von der Leyen has said that the next days are crucial for the Brexit negotiations. This statement comes as the talks between Brussels and London continue amid fears of a no-deal Brexit. The UK and EU's single trade agreement will end on the 31st of December, after which the two sides can levy tariffs on each other's imports. Experts believe that the UK will be severely impacted in case of a no deal as it is more dependent on imports from the Eurozone than the other way around. The two sides are mainly divided on three issues which are a level playing field or fair trade policies, governance or resolution of future disputes and fishing rights that has remained a sticking point. The next days are going to be decisive, and I know I have said this before, and I know deadlines have been missed time and again. Meanwhile, Germany's ambassador to the EU also said that he was hopeful that Brussels and London will reach a trade deal by the end of this week. There's some unfinished business, uh, obviously starting with Brexit, uh, but it's not over yet. Uh, we still have a couple of days uh, to go, so 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 we'll see. End of year hasn't uh, come yet, <laughs> and I think there's still clearly the possibility of uh, having a deal. Maybe by end of this week, uh, there's uh, at least a chance. The Irish Prime Minister Michael Martin also said that the ongoing talks have given him more hope. For a trade agreement, UK's Northern Ireland will remain aligned to the EU's single market, the region borders with Ireland. In terms of the, uh, the fact that both sides are still in negotiations is, is a good sign. It it's, it's gives me greater hope than I had last week that uh, potentially a resolution can be found um, to the very difficult and challenging issue of a level playing field and indeed fisheries and a dispute resolution mechanism to deal with that. Our correspondent Benji Ayer joining us live from London. Hi Benji, how close are the two sides uh, to resolving those uh, issues which continue to remain sticking points months into those negotiations, which is two weeks remaining for uh, the deadline after which the UK will have to leave the EU without a trade deal? Yeah, we've said it so many times that the clock is ticking. We really are now running out of time. but. The European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen in the last few moments saying that there is a narrow path to some sort of agreement. It rests on two basic principles that both sides can't seem to come to any sort of agreement on. And that's the level playing field rules. Essentially, will the UK be allowed to set its own rules that are different to the European Union's? And in addition... The question of fishing rights, uh, who can have access to the UK's fishing waters. Two issues, as I say, where there's been months of prolonged negotiation without that breakthrough. Now a possibility of a route towards the deal, but because there's so much, uh, there's so little time left, I should say, there is a bit of a rush to get things going. There is going to have to be some time to pass the deal in the UK government uh, and also ratify it through the European channels as well. So whilst there is a possibility of an agreement, both sides remain wary and both sides know that were there to be a deal, there'd have to be extra steps to get it through before that deadline. That's not to say there would definitely be a deal. There's been a lot of talk about there being no deal whatsoever. Uh, the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson claims that the UK will thrive without a deal with the European Union. Many economists uh, uh, disagree. Uh, and he says that actually UK businesses should be preparing for that outcome, preparing for the 1st of January, where we might have to revert to World Trade Organization rules and there could be tariffs imposed. Benji, I appreciate very much joining us on the broadcast or with the very latest. With that, it's a wrap on this edition of We On Dispatch. We are taking a very short break. Lots more coming up on the other side. Stay tuned.